Will you do late TT? That's what I'm about to do. I had a good result earlier. I mean, the last several Title Tuesdays I've played, actually the last three Title Tuesday that Tuesdays I've played, I've scored seven out of 11. And then the one a few weeks ago, I scored eight. So I feel like I'm really close to getting like my best score ever. So I think what I'll do is I'll play, I'll play a warm up game. How about it'll just be three zero no increment. Okay, first opponent. I'll play this line. I played this in Madrid for the first time. It's e six, and I think that f six is fine here. Eric, there are few things that I like more than watching a rose and stream. Mmm. What are those few things? Oh no, your beard. Thank you, Syncopede. Yeah, oh no, my beard, but oh yes, my clean-shaven face. A solid-looking position. A lot of trades. But the bishop... Bishop f6. At some point, I want to play like e5 or c5. And Bishop e3 is coming. Yeah, I might just drop back the queen. Never mind. Yeah, a lot of trades. Whoa, what's that Chai Town dude? Who cheered a thousand bits earlier too? Thank you, that Chai Town dude. Thank you, JJ Dynamite, as well. Yeah, welcome to everyone tuning in. This is the first game of the stream. This could be a, a pretty long endgame grind. I mean, it's probably like, what? Opponent resigns? It's very strange. Well, I was wrong about it being a long endgame grind. Maybe my opponent resigned out of boredom. <laughs> what to do? Sometimes that's how you win a chess. You make your opponent so bored they resign. Okay. Yeah, maybe they had to go. Maybe there was a, a pizza delivery or... Yeah, maybe sushi delivery. Whatever is more exciting than pizza. Hey, it's Nordovic. I was uh, on the dojo stream earlier. That's one of the things I did between the two title Tuesdays. I went to one of the dojo houses. Uh, we did some test phone stream with some wireless mics. Anyway, uh, let's do another warm up. Not sure if there's much to analyze in this game. Like pretty solid overall. Oh, engine prefers taking on b3. I feel like this whole game it was just equal. Here we go, playing King Cyber. Candidate Master. Bishop e7. Trying to remember any sort of prep that I may have done here. a4 probably doesn't make any sense. It's, usually it's when the bishop's on c5. That's okay though. I'll do the normal Italian things like the night walk, maybe c3, etc. 
just want to play solid chess. Play a5, why not? Could play queen b3. Considering taking as well. Uh, very likely the knight comes here. Starting with queen b3. Just tickling the b7 pawn. Where is the beard? I shaved it. No longer exists. Or maybe it still exists, but it's like very microscopic. Someday it might grow back. C4 is a move. Hmm. Might not be the best decision. Vak avoids a queen trade. I do kind of weaken control over the square, but I strengthen control over the square. There's ideas of like b5 or b4 b5. Maybe create some weakness in black's uh, queen side. Black is striking in the center. Yeah, with no increment, it's so important to stay up on time. B5. I'll just play this. Like bishop d2, like gradually build up. Oops. I had no like knowledge that that pawn was hanging. Oops. It's not the worst thing ever because now the b file is open. I'll try and treat the blunder as a sacrifice. I have the b6 square, maybe, maybe not. Knight f5. Let's play rook b3. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a gun on the b file. There's my gun. I mean, knight f4 might be coming. Vox okay, trying to be solid. I'll offer some trade. And now this square is open for the knight. I'm still down a pawn, but it actually feels like nice compensation for white. And box rook is almost trapped. Hmm. Take, take, knight g3. I'm doing very well on time. Okay, threatening the triple fork. Opponent doesn't allow it. My queen trapped? No. That's no increment chess. 
Not super clean, but I'll tell you this. <sighs> I feel kind of tired. I don't think I want to play another game. I feel like I should save my energy for the real thing. I close out of my games. Ooh, Magnus is back. Magnus playing both title Tuesdays today. I mean, very strong line of the players. Who won early TT? It was um, a new player who I don't think has won before. Grandmaster of Wonder Liang had a really good tournament. He scored 10 out of 11, clear first place. Yeah, I think I'll just kind of chill, kill some time. Just look at the player list in awe. Magnus, Sarana, Grishuk. Grishuk, I think, finished in second earlier, if I'm not mistaken. Did he beat Magnus earlier? Let's see. He did. Wow. Okay, let's look at how Magnus Carlsen loses to Grishuk in 42 moves with white. So let's look from Grishuk's perspective. Thank you, Sud65. Happy two years. So Magnus playing something solid. Magnus playing the double Fianchetto. Grisha plays h5 on move 7 after castling. What is this? What is h5? Is there any way to explain this move? Like, he's not really threatening h4 because the rook's not on h8. That seems completely not necessary. I wonder if he mouse slipped and intended h6. Or he's making extra loot for the king. Let's see if this becomes relevant later. C4 takes, takes. Yeah, this looks just better for white. Magnus gaining space. Knight A3. Black was threatening this move. And maybe this move. Bishop E4. Okay, these pawns are actually a bit weak. Can't stay long cause him at work. Oh, that's Hope okay. The stream goes well. Thanks for everything oh, thank you. you do. Your streams have really wow. helped me relax during stressful times lately. Nice to hear. I'll have a good day at work. Thank you, Norden TM. So knight d3. Grishuk is like all up in Magnus's crib. Bishop's hanging. Rook is hanging. Takes, takes. Now c4 and the queen are attacked. Wait. Is knight... The knight is like almost getting trapped. Queen b3. How does black save the knight? Because there's pressure here. But if takes, takes, the rook defends. Maybe queen b6 is coming. Queen b6. The knight's just chilling on b2. Pawns attack twice. Ah, that's why he played h5. He played h5 on move 7 to prepare knight g4 on move 19. Yeah, super grandmasters think very far ahead. And the knight supported, the knight on d4 is hit. The rook is also a target. Like if knight moves, there might be knight d3 hitting both rooks. And f2. Takes, takes, knight b5, c4 falls, wow. And then he just gets two pieces for a rook. Ooh, and bishop f2. Yeah, now it's winning for black. Still takes technique against Magnus. But looks like Grishuk had pretty good technique. G3 falls. Impressive play. Oh, that's mate too. Knight controls g2, bishop controls g1. Rook controls g3. Okay, I feel inspired. So now if I play Magnus, I'll just have to think like 15 moves ahead. Play h5 when it's not relevant, and then eventually maybe it will be relevant. I, I was kind of joking. Like, I I have no idea why he played h5 still. Like, 
even as we saw it, it became useful in the game, I think it was kind of coincidental. I mean, there's cases where, yeah, H5 supports G4, but not even like someone rated over 3,100 will, will be playing this because they're thinking so far ahead. How can I buy that polo? Oh, the polo that I'm wearing right now. I'm not sure. You can make a bid. Maybe, maybe I can auction it off. I might have to charge a premium because it's the only shirt that's within like arm's reach of where I currently am. Yeah, let's not do any predictions today. Someday I'll like update the channel points and maybe make them more valuable. Okay, there's one bid for two bucks, one bid for one dollar, one bid for four dollars. Oh man. Okay. Get ready. Let's put chat in emote only mode. Okay, here we go. Playing Laico. Some kind of Grand Prix attack. Yeah, this might go into some kind of French structure. Play H5 and here H5 is useful because it supports Knight E7 to F5. Um, we'll start with this. Yeah, white wants to play g4, maybe. Hmm. I'm thinking g4, knight g6. Kind of weird looking. The idea would be to eventually play knight h4. Like if the knight were already on f5, then g4 takes takes knight h4 is a thematic idea. Just fix the layout. There we go. Okay, queen b6. Building up some pressure. Yeah, so we see this play out. G4 is attacked, but now defended. And bishop e3 is probably coming. Hmm. Considering f6. Just start with uh, rook c8. King is going to stay in the center. Yeah, this and this. That move I just missed. Might not be that bad. Yeah, it might not actually be that bad, because the knight gets stuck. Like, knight g7, king fa traps the knight. And there's a line, like, takes, takes, knight f6, takes, 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 and then d4 is attacked twice and can't be defended. So if I lose exchange, I should win back. I should get at least two pawns for it. We might see knight g3. Yeah, that's very fortunate. So I just overlooked this move. Like G7, wow. F5 may be coming. 
take oh, what a move I might just play rook like h7 and then sack take take yeah, like f6 I take and then take and then take and then take and then take. Looks fine. There's knight takes e6 coming. Takes. Super scary. Opponent's time is ticking. I'm just trying to be safe here. Not sure which king is more attackable. I mean, white has more space. Queen e6 makes some sense. And pressure g4. Also defend this. Okay, I want on time. That was a stressful game. I'll take it. A crazy position. I just kind of had to hold my ground and play quickly enough. My uh, my Apple Watch is charging. It should be charged by now. Um, yeah, let me let me get it. It's it's charging behind the green screen. That was definitely not a clean game. Hey, it's Vampire Chicken. The very brief chair sub. Wait, am I getting sound? Shout out to Jonathan. Hope you're doing well. Just had a, a fun first game to start Title Tuesday. Oh, hey, it's Scrabble. Shout out to Scrabble. This is chess. I played my first ever OTB Scrabble tournament uh on saturday it was super fun maybe i'll play some scrabble later also thank you half loaf gifting five subs really appreciate it i joined the north american scrabble players association 
It's like the, is it the FIDE of Scrabble or the U.S. Chess of Scrabble? It's like one of the official governing bodies. And yeah, my, my Scrabble rating is 12, I already forget it. I think it's like 1227. I took first place in the lowest division in the recent tournament. Thank you, Backward Spawn. Can't wait to see Magnus suffer against you. Yeah, right before the tournament, I uh, I was looking at how to beat Magnus. Anyway, let's focus. New game. Playing in Italian. This is something similar to what I prepped for Faustino Oro in Madrid, but not quite similar. He played a5 much earlier in, in that game. The plan is probably to eventually play e4. I mean, e4, not f4. Yeah, maybe I should have put the queen on e2. And maybe I can play like this and this. F5 is maybe coming. Queen G3. There's also uh, the idea to play D4. There's also the idea to blunder this. Which is probably a really bad blunder. Take, take. Yeah, just blunder the pawn. Okay, life goes on, maybe. Hopefully. Oh, I blundered this! How bad is this? I guess I had to play rook somewhere else. Okay, I'll try and make use of my horsies. Knight five. Defending, attacking. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my horses along with the clock as a weapon. this. Rook h5 is kind of unpleasant. Might have to play queen g3. <clears throat> Although then the rook kind of gets kicked around. And the problem is I'm down knight for rook and pawn. But I have a lot of time. Knight h4 now? I think my opponent blundered that. It fixes black structure though, but I think I have to go for it. It's really not what I want. Take, take, take. I guess I have knight c5 in the end. Here I take, take, and then take. H3 hangs, knight d5. I'm trying to fight. 
down a pond with some weak pawns. But these pawns are also potential targets. I take there's rook b8. Hmm. Actually thinking b4. Let's start with this. C4. C4 is really ugly. to do good game yeah black converted well i tried to resist i mean blundering in the opening didn't really help me yeah at this point i, th I think i was out of prep Queen one is like the standard move, but Queen E2, yeah, in this position probably makes more sense to keep D3 defended. And then let's say Bishop E6. So if the game follows like a similar path, like King H8, yeah, then there's no E4 ideas. Okay. What to do? One out of two, still early. Next game should be starting soon. It looks like these games are wrapping up. Last game of the round here. Yeah, black is 
probably playing for the win. Although, Black has to be careful. This is a big threat. <laughs> I think you can play... Oh, no, you can't play that. Okay. Next game starting soon. Playing Simple Zhao. Alright, try and stay focused here. D6. A little bit weird looking. Yeah, C5 might be coming. I don't like the position I have currently. I just take everything and play queen d5. If it takes, I can throw in bishop b4 check. And there's also queen a5 here. Try it. I'm taking away white's casting rights. Oh, but there's some issue with e6. Okay, I guess I'm losing a pawn. Or multiple pawns. Or a rook. Wait, how bad is this? Okay, queen c8 was, I think, missed. Seven. They're really not a good position. Mm. I might play Rook F eight and uh, Bishop F seven. There's also this idea, an e5. Okay, at least there's a few ideas here. I'm down about a minute. I think I can still get away with an e5. Or can I? Check king b1. Maybe not. There's knight b4. So if a3, bishop f7, take, 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 take. Still down the pawn.
Getting spicy. Hitting the rook and pawn. I'm also threatening to take this pawn. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty strong. There goes all of White's things. Okay. Uh, uh. Felt like I was getting crushed until I wasn't getting crushed. So I'm two out of three. Not the cleanest game so far this tournament. But again, I'll take it. I should check what to do against the sign. Knight d6 was probably not the, the right move. It might be e5. Or c okay, c5. c5 takes... Actually, tricky line for black. d4 is not easy to play. Oh, I... 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 <laughs> I charged my watch, I put it on, but I forgot to turn on the heart rate monitor. Sorry about that. It's not working? There we go. Okay. It's actually pretty low. I would have expected it to be a bit higher. 68 BPM. Yeah, this is called the Levitsky attack? Levitsky attack. There's not too many openings where it's like acceptable to play f6 and knight h6 on moves two and three, but in this opening, these moves are justified to target the bishop. Uh, the idea is to play knight f5, and then there's cases where if white's not careful, knight f5, and then h5, and it can get very unpleasant for white to save the bishop. Oh, Half Loaf says, I like how evergreen your speedrun videos are. I go back and rewatch some of the videos where you're at my level and they still help. Oh, that's nice to hear. Yeah, I recorded episode 54 a few days ago. I actually recorded it before I shaved. And having the beard led to some uh led to some very interesting games. So there's one more game until a break or until the extended break. Have a small break right now. Uh-oh. Serrano wins. Yeah, this is a pretty classic draw. Why did you shave? It was getting uncomfortable. It was itchy, and when I walked outside, it's just so hot and humid in St. Louis. It's not a great season to be growing a beard. I still respect those who like have beards in this weather, but I realize it's not for me. Okay, next game should start any moment now. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's Vampire Chicken. Yeah, for Vampire Chicken, every season is beard season. Maybe someday I can get to that level. Okay, it's Gambit time. Let's have some fun here. What do we call this? What is this called? The Mises Co something. Oh, it's a Leonhard Gambit. I like how my opponent took some time before playing queen a5. 
I did trap like a strong GM in this um, a few months ago. There's a GM that played this move. Knight of six is one of the, the best moves. And unfortunately, I won't be getting my uh, my bishop f7 trap. But I can still treat it as a Danish type thing. I have the B file to work with. Put the rook on B1. Trying to keep the pace here. There's bishop a3 now. Exerting some pressure. Have to watch out for the knight on d4. I might play c3. Multi-purpose, supporting the knight, preparing this, maybe this. Target f7. If bishop g4, okay, then that hangs multiple things. Maybe we see b5. Can I take in queen b3? How crazy is that takes? I guess there's queen d5. Yeah, it's no good. Okay. A4 is coming. Now I have 95. Tickling the pawn, tickling a few pawns. Snable's queen f3 as well. So minor pieces are doing things, exerting a lot of pressure. Take. B5 is a target. Yeah, a few moves ago I was very active, and now it feels very passive. It is equal material now. To move the knights, e4 might be coming. If I take e4... Oh, there's bishop f3. Maybe rook c1. Just want to take and use the c file. Black has other ideas. I probably have to take. Okay. Not the best structure, but I have the bishop pair. F7 is a target still, E5 is a target. Going with a rook. B4 is also a target. I mean, I could take the pawn actually. Rook E8. Rook E8, D4 should be fine. So I'm up a pawn. All my pawns are isolated. But my pieces are like really well placed. Rookie seven. Mm. 
rook c2. Just going to go after b4. Okay, one on time. I had to be careful not to get mated there. The bishop took a good job guarding the back rank. Okay, three out of four. I got upset once. I don't think I've played any high rate of opponents, but a uh, decent score. This is what I went, or this is what I had going into the, uh, the first break in the first tournament today. And yeah, we see a version of this gambit where the opponent doesn't fall for any traps, but I still got some nice activity in the middle game. My minor pieces developed very quickly, rooks were active, black was a bit passive, and that translated into winning back material. And then, yeah, this transformation, it didn't look great for white, but the bishops were so good. F7 was so weak. Okay. Thank you, Chimpany. Happy 27. Oh, yeah, just to show, is there anyone watching that doesn't know this trap? Um, Like, one of the first ever instructional chess videos I put on YouTube uh, featured this line. If you go way back in my channel, like five or six years ago, the main trap is if black plays c6, white can play bishop takes f7. And after king takes f7, queen h5, and white is just completely winning because we exploit the king and we also exploit the queen, which is undefended on a5. So if g6, white wins the queen with knight d6 check. Some really nice board geometry. Oh, thank you, Vampire Chicken, sharing the link. Yeah, this is back from when I... Oops. It's back from when I had, like, a a very basic setup. And, like, kind of a potato microphone and potato laptop. Well before Vampire Chicken was hiding potatoes everywhere. Oh, yeah, Rook B1 is also playable. In this position. Rook b1 is probably like objectively better than knight b5. I vaguely remember Beruja beating Hikaru in like less than 20 moves with this sign. I think this goes for more like long-term compensation. Yeah, objectively it's like it's fine for black. Knight f6 should be like minus one, I think. Uh minus 0. 0.5, okay. Some compensation. I was watching some like short on Instagram. It was John Bartholomew at the Charlotte Chess Center. 
and he he was asked to share an opening trap and he shared this this sequence but instead of showing bishop c4 he showed queen h5 immediately which is also kind of interesting because a lot of players will probably blunder here with like this or this even this this is i mean it's a bit more direct like i think title players wouldn't fall into this because the threat is pretty clearly knight d6 but i think a lot of players wouldn't wouldn't have the brain capacity to see from the h file to the a file at some point i want to learn the chess mood repertoire against the scandi the chess mood doesn't actually recommend knight c3 even though it's very fine uh, they recommend knight f3 and then d4 and c4 build up the big center i just heard like loud thunder outside i was outside about an hour and a half ago it was like sunny and didn't seem like it was gonna rain hello to ag christian do you host a chess tournament here so i'm currently playing in a chess tournament um, this is, it's called Title Tuesday. It's a weekly tournament, uh, but it's just for title players. So unfortunately, like the average viewer can't really join, but you can watch. Uh, the top players in the world compete. Magnus Carlsen is somewhere here. Where is Magnus? I'm not seeing Magnus. There's Hans, who's maybe becoming more famous than Magnus. Magnus? Did Magnus drop out or is he just having a bad tournament? Oh, I'm tied with Magnus. Let's go. We're both on three points. Oh, maybe I'll play him next game. That'd be fun. I have to employ this H5 Grishuk idea. So Magnus lost a game to someone. Oh, he lost his first round to this person. He played Joe Bava London. I'm not gonna have much time to analyze. But there's a lot of like colorful stimuli. I feel overstimulated by all the colors and symbols. Did he just blunder his queen? He played Queen F3. Maybe forgetting that like both rooks are hanging. Yeah, it was just down the rook. Wow. What do I do to prepare for Magnus? There's a lot of people with three out of four, though. So, like a lot of people. 122 through 35. Yeah, that's like almost 90. It'd be funny if Hans plays Magnus. Oh, hey. Oh, no, my TTS. Wait, let's replay this. We got a, a nice limerick. Oh, the Eric there limerick. There was a player named Eric <laughs> whose tactics were sharp and electric. You can't spell yes. a limerick without including Eric. Oh, yes. In games. Simply esoteric. Esoteric. Oh, that's so hysteric. And not so generic. Thank you for the limerick, Robert J. Oppenheimer. Study the Stonewall Dutch. At first I thought that said quack, but it said quick. Yeah, most people say quack. Need to write a, a limerick about the quack attack. So I could play Magnus, I could play Hans. Can't play Grushuk. Grushuk is slightly above. Eric Hansen. Can I show the top players? I was trying to show Magnus, but oh, well there now. once was a player go. quite strict who went by the name Vindictive with a quack attack sly. I oh, swooped yes. in to defy and left him astoundingly tricked. Okay, with that, let's go into round number five, playing Bug Crusher. Have a Queen's Gambit. Have a Catalan.
OK. Still prep takes rook b8, wins back the pawn. Okay, I'll play the I'll play the sign. This looks like a blunder because there's bishop a5, but there's supposed to be compensation. I have gotten in trouble with the sign before, but and hopefully my time advantage will make up for it. Queen c2, rook c8. Actually, I don't remember. Like. There's also knight g4. Huh. And there's also takes and knight g4, which probably doesn't work. Huh. Go for this. I'll probably have to check this line more closely after the game. So I'm down the exchange, but I have a pawn. Or no, I don't have a pawn for it, but I'm about to have a pawn for it. Or maybe white will get back the exchange. Yeah. Knight e5 takes takes. So, hmm. I'm looking for tactics, but I'll start with rook c8. At some point, I'll maybe defend the rook and threaten something. I might be threatening this now, actually. King takes, takes. Probably not. Have to watch out for this. H five. Grishuk style. There's f5. Hmm. I was, I was calculating f3 and bishop e3. Might also have queen g6 there. Rook d6. Okay, so bishop e3. Looks a little bit too shaky. 
A five immediately. <laughs> Trying to play the safest move, a very shaky position. I might be threatening to take. Rook d6. F6. E3 is clear target now. I think this is a draw. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was really close. This is where uh, like end game knowledge is actually really really important, because okay maybe I could have like not played g five and it's still a draw, but this is a position that I've I've definitely seen before in some end game book, maybe Dvoretsky's end game manual, maybe something else, where. Even though White has a G pawn and a bishop, and they defend each other, it's uh, it's Eric drawing. Q wants Could you have played Knight takes F seven, King takes F seven? Oh, this is probably a while ago. Bishop E six. Wait. At what moment? You mean Bishop takes F two? No. I don't know when. Or I don't know what moment that refers to. Um, yeah, it's very possible there were tactics against F2. But uh, we'll have to analyze later. Welcome, non -raiders. Oh, hello, Josh. How's it going? Shout out to Josh. All right, let's play, um, uh, what do I want to play? We'll play exchange variation. Uh, bishop f4. 
I still need to watch more Chasmoon videos. I'll play the, the safer line. I have three and the eventual Queenie one. The idea is to play Knight E5. Nice blitz weapon. Queen C7. F4. I feel like I've had something very similar. I had this like somewhat recently where I had Queen H8 and Knight takes F7 to uh, win a pawn and then win the Queen on D6. But the plan is very straightforward now. Like rook F3 to H3 and checkmate. It'd be funny if we see Queen D6. Because then that allows queen h8 check. But this is probably better. Okay, black wants to move the knight. Wait, so can I take? I guess there is. Takes in king f8. H5. There's g4. g4 might be the way to go. g4, 94. Wait, g4, 94, g5? Take rook h3. Let's try this. So I'm calculating 94. G5. Oh no, my knight, rook h3. Looks pretty good. Oh no, my knight. So if black takes this knight, do I still have rook h3? I think I do. Oh no, both my knights. Oh, but there's f6 there. Yeah, this is not actually so clear. Oof. Might have to start with rook h3. f5 take. Wait a minute. Also, I may have messed this up. I should at least win back something, maybe. If I take Wait, if I take, queen takes, I think this is okay. So if queen takes, I take, I mean, that's going to go into some end game. I have to take on e4 first, assuming pawn takes. Yeah, what a mess. I'm envisioning, okay, pawn takes, takes, takes. Probably take with d pawn. Take with other pawn too. Decision. Take with this pawn. Yeah.
Okay. I'm probably a little bit worse here. Trying to figure out my plan. Just have to wait. More like Eric B. R. Orson. Not good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no, my face. What happened to my face? Oh no, my face. Let's go. Oh, where's my happy face? Where's my happy face? Uh oh. Oh, my mouse stopped working. What happened? There we go. Okay. He. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so strong, my face just froze. How long was the camera frozen for? That happened earlier, too. I don't know why it's happening. Okay. That's how to draw a chess. Chess is a theoretical draw. Wait, since the last game? Was it frozen this whole game? That draw no. stopped time. Nice work. Oh no, my time. Yeah, E2 is a good move. Yeah, this is why you don't resign. I had to give all my pawns so I can actually set up the stalemate too. Black took all of them. Okay. What round was that? That was round six. So I'm four out of six. One point behind Magnus. Tied for top 100. 76 overall. I should really take the time to learn Queen B3. Um, Queen B3 is like the, the main line to put the most amount of pressure on black. Knight of three, it's more of a blitz weapon. It actually worked out nicely. Like this queen e1 idea is to set up this um, kind of classic stonewall attack. Oh, thanks for the clip. And here it felt really close to winning, but I, yeah, I'm not sure if I missed anything. Engine says takes, takes. Yeah, I just didn't see the clear follow-up in this line. Rook h7, queen f6. I guess black's a bit stuck. Okay, so that was round six. Few perfect scores. Oh, Chris, you. Angel, who I beat, uh, I beat in the first title Tuesday, is doing well. All right, let's refocus. 
Here we go. Have the barman variation. Not thrilled with the position I have. Probably have to castle and go for like F6 or F5. Not pretty. If I can get an F6. I guess that might allow queen g6. So maybe I go for f5. Although f6, queen g6, rook a e8. But then take, take. Mm. I'm considering f5 here. This may be okay. Takes I take back. Yeah, I'll double up rooks, support the pawn. The plan is probably this. The king h7, queen g6. Might get some bishop versus knight ending. White would have a, or does have a defended pass pawn. But I'd have the potential for the outside passer. Assuming like takes, takes, we trade everything on a five. Eventually I want to play like c5, like maybe even c5, c4. That's a good move. Curious about h5 here. Oh, there's e6, which I forgot about. That might be really bad for me. Okay, white misses it. Yeah, so here... Um, go ahead and trade. 
I was envisioning something like this where I I make passers on two sides of the board. Each war might be good to start with. Maybe not, but maybe. Yeah, let's start with H4. Probably B4. Tricky, tricky. I'm probably losing, but where's my trick? Uh, I messed up. Wow. I was just losing. I thought I was playing for a win. I should just probably bail out for a draw, like take and win the pawn. Ay, ay, ay. 37 months of oh yes. I didn't realize until it's too late. Also, quack. I'm a little bit sad about that one, but a lesson to take away. It doesn't really matter that I flagged in the end. Like, I was going to try like this, this. The problem is white's just mating me. I tried to get stalemated, but this is checkmate. What to do? Yeah, I was in the mindset to play for a win, like even around here. Oh, it was win. Oh, I have bishop c5 check. That's hard to spot, because you, like, I just assume that white's queening, but I'm queening with check. If white stops, like, queen the h-pawn. A nice endgame puzzle there. And b3, not the right move. Yeah, very tricky endgame. I don't think people can hear it, but the, the rain is coming down pretty hard. I didn't actually realize it was like there was rain in the forecast today. It's 95 degrees. Okay. Um, new game? Four out of seven? Four out of eight. Eight. Okay. No, four out of seven. So just try and be strong. Play the sign. Should be four. 
Let's take. Let's play prep against this. Bishop d3 or a3? Bishop d3. I might just be confusing my prep. I looked at this a little bit uh, in preparation for Madrid. Okay, we're getting some fresh position at least. Queen on g3. This and maybe this. Wow, h5. This move. If h4, queen e3. I'm not sure if black wants to castle kingside now, but they do, okay. It's strange black having a pawn on h4 here. Probably put something on e5. You have rook f or rook e8. I have knight e5. Good castle. Go for ninety five. Yeah, this this and this are probably coming. I think bishop e five. I'm actually realizing if knight c six I take with knight. Hitting the queen takes and then takes. Hitting the rook. That's not happening. Okay, now it doesn't work as well. Take, take. Bishop, knight, knight here. Take. Knight, rookie one. A lot of tension, bishop tension, rook tension. There's this alignment too. I was calculating d4, then I take. Okay, well, here I can take and win the pawn. There's C4. Hmm. Crazy long line. I think it's okay though. 
calculation is c4 knight b4 a5 i take take queen d4 it's not happening though It's a good move. Ah, yeah, it's just losing in the end, though. What to do? Gotta play that game. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't take the H pawn. Queen F4, much, much safer. Just offering a queen trade. Opponent played well. Maybe I was a bit too inventive in the opening. So I'm four out of eight. Okay, I could still tie my score from earlier. We do have a break approaching. Oh, I was going to make iced coffee. I forgot. Okay, it's coffee time. Let's watch a game. Watching Jospam, who's probably doing well. Yeah, I'll be back momentarily. I'm going to make some coffee. BRB. Okay. Jospam won. Ooh. Some kind of Lucina position. Yeah, it seems like white has to play king e1. I think this maintains a draw. King g2. Although, wait, is this drawn? Yeah, this should be drawn because rook check. But it's already kind of tricky. Oh, it's not drawn. Wait. How, how does black win? Rook a1. Rook f1. And the king is cut off. So if white waits? King g2. Okay. Hmm. Here, check. Yeah, this is winning. So where did white go wrong here? Ah, this position. Yeah, white has to go to the short side. Some, yeah, this is like Dvoretsky's endgame manual. The long, this is a long side, this is a short side. But also the king is cut off, so. You have check here. I have to review my end games too. <laughs> let's uh let's look at the standings. I can still maybe finish strong. In a small rough patch right now. 
It looks like we are officially on break. Yeah, we have two minutes until next game. Jospam, Angel, Vipranav, Hans. Magnus on six and a half. Yeah, I think I'm outside the top 100 by now. I can try and like predict who I'll play, but a lot of people with four points. And 50%. 154 overall. Since you mentioned it, is Jabrowski's endgame manual advisable for an intermediate player? Around 2,000 rapid on chess. I would say there's like there's more effective resources. I mean, if you want to like work on your end games, then it's one of the like most renowned end game books. But for that rating level, I think there's less like heavy material on end games that will still bring value. Hey, thank you, Lonely Winter. I appreciate the raid. Welcome. If you're just joining, uh, a, a new game just started. I have to put chat in emo only only mode because that's a rule for this tournament. Uh, this is Title Tuesday, round number nine, and I'm currently four out of eight. We have a Sicilian. Bishop c4. I'll play e6. Yeah, bishop c4 has been like weirdly trendy recently. Yeah, I mean, this whole setup is aimed to undermine this bishop. Like d5 and b5 are both kind of common ideas here. White goes for d4. And queen c7. Yeah, still eyeing the bishop. Try and pressure my opponent uh, on the clock. Already up a decent amount of time. I mean, the ideal setup is probably eventually knight g6, develop in castle, and throw in b5 and bishop b7. A4, wow. Don't fully understand. I mean, it is prophylaxis against B5. I guess. Can't quite play D5, unfortunately. Or can I? Probably not. Play bishop e7. You just bishop e7. If I play d5, there is takes, 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 and some issue with the e file. But now d5.
Hmm. Yeah, where does the queen want to go? F4? G3, queen B4? And then bishop C5. Maybe I just play this first. Try and bait white into doing this. Okay, now I have e5. Controlling the center. Okay. Wasn't sure about the final position. Like, White has scary pawns on the queen side. Yeah, anything could have still happened there. But I got the win. Five out of nine. Two more games to go. You can watch... Uh... Oh, I thought that was Magnus, but it's MSB. Um... Oh, let's watch this game. Vipranov looks to have a good position. But not easy. Yeah, as white, you want to look for ways to put black Zugzwang. 
Seems like Black always has waiting moves. We might see the king try and walk around. But then the problem is if the king gets too far, then e3 hangs. So this should be a draw. Yeah, as white, you have to be very careful moving too far with the king. What happened to the beard? I shaved it. It's gone. It might grow back someday. But in the meantime, if you want to see a beard, go follow uh, Vampire Chicken. Shout out to Jonathan. I gave up in trying to compete. Wow, white's doing something. E4. Is Vipranov going to win? It still should be a draw, but it's impressive. And now, like, maybe you get the king to f8, perhaps? Oh, the knight got stuck. Wait, is this winning? This is winning, right? King e7. But watch out. No, this is winning. Takes f5. Wow. How do you win that? Squeezing water from stone. Or coffee from stone. Mmm. That's super impressive. Yeah, sometimes the best strategy is just to move around and... Like, keep trying your last ideas. <laughs> okay. Playing Grandmaster, but lower rated. Translate to English. Igor Yagupov. Okay. Here we go. Trying to remember the line. It's 95? 95, Black doesn't have to take. Might just be Bishop E2, Knight A4. Yeah, five is coming. I have to check this opening. I think I've gone wrong somewhere. And it's still playable.
I'll probably look to Fincado. Okay, this is a gambit. I'm sagging the B pawn. Calculation is C5 in the very end. I'm threatening maiden one. Black might have to sack. There's gonna be compensation though. Bishop g7 for one. Queen b6. Take, take. And try it. Problem is bishop. Bishop d4, king f3. It's so ugly. No problem with queen f6. You have better chances here. Oops.
Okay. No stalemate trap, unfortunately. What to do? Tough game. I got into a lot of trouble in this middle game. B4. Probably no reason for B4. I, I probably should have just been more patient. Bishop C3. Prepare. It looked interesting in the moment. I thought I'd get initiative, but black got more initiative. What's your favorite sauce, Eric? Uh, depends what I'm putting it on. If it's wait, what? In the I am Rosen. <laughs> what? I changed my title. Let's go. I think I lost my title from that game. I'm no longer an I am. I'm in the whatever that means. It's because I, I was translating my opponent's name, so it decided to translate my I am title. <laughs> That's so funny. I feel like we can just like program a Chrome extension to customize a title too. Like maybe next time, maybe someone can just program like a, a Grandmaster Chrome extension to give me the Grandmaster title. I feel like Nate Brady is capable of that. I wonder if it's going to keep this title for the next game. Oh yeah, that's how Nate Brady has uh, the BM title. The Brilliant Master, whatever it stands for. Or blunder master. Right click and and inspect. I mean, I can inspect it with my own eyes. I don't need to right click. Although maybe I can mess with a whatever HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Do we have one more game? I think we have one more game. Oh hey. Hey, I'm playing a fellow in the Medina Paz Miguel. Okay. Someone who shares my new title. Here we go. We have a Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit London hybrid. I think I'm supposed to take here. And then Bishop B4 and some B5. So it's kind of like a queen's gambit accepted. I mean, now I can take and play this move, hitting the pawn and the bishop. I'm up a pawn. I'm actually in nice position too. Tickling this pawn. Thank you, Bacaby. I appreciate the sub. That's probably not necessary, but it does prevent knight e5 because takes, takes, takes. Some eventual pin. Okay, knight e5 might be coming. Probably just leave the knight there. Just try and play some improving moves. Maybe eventually go for c5. Oh, 
There's also the idea of taking and playing queen c6 and use the diagonal. It feels very close to tactics here. I could play pawn c6. I wanted to do something with g2 or the pin or couldn't quite make it work though. So I have rook eight. Probably have to take first. I mean, there's F six. Takes, takes. I mean, White's controlling the A file. But I'm still up a pawn. Thank you, Hoppy. Another first time prime. I appreciate that. C5 is interesting. You gotta go for it. So the point is I'm unleashing the bishop and setting up rook a8. So if white takes, I play rook a8 and skewer. White might go for that line, like take and taking f7, bishop f3. Kind of tricky. We don't see it. Now I could take here. I'm creating the battery, so if queen takes d4, I mean, I can take on g2. Just have to watch out for counterplay, but it looks like everything's under control. Up two pawns now. I probably just move back. Like, oh, but then queen a7. Hmm. What if I play bishop e4? It's actually kind of tricky. So queen a7, then rook a8, skewering. I'm not sure if that actually works, because there's a bishop f1. Yeah, I may have messed up a little bit. I'm banking on bishop. Wait, that doesn't work. I'm making a mess out of this. Check.
really made a mess out of this. But so is my opponent. Wow. Somehow I won that. Oh, what a messy finish. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that sums up my title Tuesday. The second title Tuesday. I wonder if I get to keep my in the title. <laughs> yeah, we discovered a new... I don't know if this is a bug or a feature. New hidden feature. I unlocked the hidden title. What if I... Can I translate to English again? Detected language. Oh no! I lost my in the title. Choose another language. Uh, Azerbaijani. What is Cebuano? Estonian. Dutch. I'm not sure how to get it back. It's probably a one-time thing. Haitian Creole. Did you consider bishop h3 instead of bishop e4? Uh, I probably should have. I assumed f3. I thought my bishop is better in the center. But maybe this is a better way to go? Oh, good job, Denlas. Wow, three-way tie for first. Han slightly above Magnus. I finished 123rd. Oh, was there rook takes b5 around move 21? Let's see. So if rook takes b5 here, I would take the knight. Um, yeah, white, I mean, white was probably threatening rook b5 in this position, but I hit the knight and then I removed my queen. So I don't think it was ever possible. So what to do? I think I'm going to wrap things up. I do appreciate everyone tuning in though. Um, I think my plan is to get in the stream, get some food edit the speedrun episode number 54 and then release it hopefully within the next like five or six hours. 